Okay, it's time for today's key in times the rapture news headline. A couple of my friends online, Jamie and Jeffrey, sent me a link showing that uh, good old Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, along with a few other of uh, media telecommunications giants, <coughs> are putting out the word that they're getting ready to link the entire world globally with the internet. Five billion people in the world, which is the, the lion's share. We've got about seven, about seven and a quarter billion now, I think, in the world. Five billion of those do not have internet access. They're too poor. They live in too remote or too uh, desolate of areas. Mr. Zuckerberg, the knight in shining armor and all of his pals are going to are going to come out and, and just be great guys, right? And they're going to make internet available and affordable for the entire world. This is not something that they're doing out of the kindness of their heart. This is not some kind of humanitarian effort. This is linking it up for the Antichrist kingdom, my friends, because the whole world is going to have to be linked to the internet. I believe the mark of the beast will be tied to the internet, tied to satellites, tied to telecommunications, which the Internet is going to have to be a big part of. I believe that the the holograms of the Antichrist are going to be all around the entire globe, including of uh, piped into your home via the Internet or via television. It will be the Sinternet big time then because the Christians will be gone. So let's just call it what it will be, the Sinternet. So Mark Zuckerberg and, and all of his buddies at Qualcomm and everywhere else, they're trying to make the Sinternet so they can get it all ready for the Antichrist and all of his cronies to control everything globally. Everything's going to be done via that mark, which I believe is going to be an RFID chip in the forehead or in the, the, the hand. And the Antichrist, uh, Barack Hussein Obama's doctors have already said for Obamacare, for Antichrist care, that the best place to put that RFID chip when it comes out, the best place for it to be uh, picked up, the, pick up the signal and for, to be scanned is, uh, guess where? The forehead and the hand. So it's all lining up, my friends. All the end time stuff is, is here. I'm telling people all the time. I've told you several, many times. Go back to the first video about seven weeks ago or so and look at, like when you get a table out. My wife likes doing puzzles. She gets, she gets the puzzle table out, unfolds it, and puts all those pieces and just everywhere. There's just pieces. And until you actually get those pieces and put them where they fit and where they match, you can't see anything but a big conglomeration, a big glob of different colors and shapes. Once those pieces start getting in, you start getting several pieces matched and you have a little peak of what it might be and some more pieces get joined together, a little more of a peak. Finally, when that puzzle gets together, the pieces are all in place, you see exactly what's going on. That's what's going on right now, my friends. If you can't look at this channel, if you call yourself a Christian, or even if you're not even a Christian, if you can't look at this channel and say, wow, 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 look at what the Bible is showing us through Paul Kidd. God's doing all the work. The Holy Spirit's doing all the work. Jesus Christ's doing all the work. I'm just a slave for Jesus Christ. But I'm his foot soldier, his slave. I'm the, the tool he's using to get the word out. So you can't look at this and see what's going on. You're blind, my friends. Spiritually blind, biblically blind, spiritually, biblically ignorant, and you got your head in the sand like an ostrich. You got what I call the ostrich syndrome. You don't care what's going on around you. You don't want to see what's going on around you. You need to wake up and see what's happening because time is truly short my friends we are on the doorstep of the imminent rapture and again everything that I say the pre-tribulation rapture I've got dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of scripture on a word document message me and I'll send it to you the fact that once saved always saved aka eternal security is alive from the pits of hell I got 250 scripture on a word document I'll send it to you the fact that the USA is the great war of Babylon or that Barack Hussein Obama is the Antichrist, I've got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of scripture on Word documents. Mess with me and I'll send it to you. The fact that all other Bibles, unless you can get an original Greek or Hebrew text, all the Bibles besides the KJV, are, uh, uh, they make God's Word into an abomination and, and they pervert it. I've got it all, all the scripture, all in the Word document for you. Massive one, a massive, massive one. Mess with me and I'll send it to you. I don't talk like, like most Christians do who just give you the j, -j, -j jive talking, telling me lies, like the Bee Gees back in the disco era. I give you the straight scoop from the King James Version Bible. That's it, period. And if I always tell you what's in the Bible, guess what? Everything I tell you is going to be right. Not because I'm right, because the Bible's always right. So just save your j, -j, -j jive talking for a... There can't be a reunion of the Bee Gees now. Barry Gibb might come out and break out some kind of a solo gig. So save it for that, if you've got some tickets to that. 
But right now, we need to focus. If you've never been saved by Jesus Christ's blood, or if you're a backslider believing the lie once saved, already saved, message me and I'll send you the scripture. But I'm telling you what God's word says at least 250 times. I've got it all down in commentary. If you do not repent of your sins after you are saved, you will not step foot into heaven. You will not be raptured, period, end of sentence, end of discussion. That's it. I'm tired of telling people all the time. I'm like a, I'm like a, a parrot. I'm like a big gigantic parrot on, on, on instant replay and rewind and, and just autoplay. I'm tired of telling you all the time. But I'm going to keep telling you. You know why? Because it's my job as a watchman. I'll keep telling you until the Lord calls me home, either via the rapture or if, or if I die first, whatever it is. So if you're one of those two groups, let's pray now while there's still time before you run out of time. By the way, I like this cool shadow motif coming from the uh, outside window. It's pretty groovy. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father to make a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. Your precious name I ask you. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And when you get saved, get you that KJV Bible I was telling you about. It's the living, breathing Word of God. It will feed your spirit and soul. Where you feed your body every day with food and water. Pray daily to Jesus. He loves you. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk with you every day. Get water baptized as soon as possible. Don't under water. If you were sprinkle baptized in the past, it don't count, my friends. Do it over again. Pray be filled with the Holy Spirit. Sanctify from head to toe by living for Christ, praying and reading the Bible every day. Take that KJV to church. When the preacher speaks, make sure it matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out, find some else to worship, and lastly, repent, repent, repent. Every time you sin after you're saved, repent. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, for terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn or deserve it. Praise the Lord, when I prayed for it, he gave it to me. If you ask me to, I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. I know that God will perform that miracle if it's in his holy will. And if he does, it's all through him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in his kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Let's get out there and reap the harvest, my friends. Witness and pray every day. The harvest is so plentiful, it's rotting in the fields for such a, a, a severe lack of harvesters. I love you guys. I pray for you daily. May God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing, if I'm not raptured or dead, for the next key end times rapture headline. Have a blessed evening. Bye.